to reflect these uh, changing situations, JCVI agreed to update its advice. Building on our previous advice related to those aged 30 years and under, we now advise that unvaccinated adults aged 30 to 39 years who do not have an underlying health condition that puts them at higher risk of severe COVID-19 should be preferentially offered an alternative to the AstraZeneca vaccine where this is possible and only where no substantial delay in access to vaccination might arise. The AstraZeneca vaccine is uh, very helpful in that it requires less stringent uh, transport and uh, storage conditions compared to some other vaccines. That means that in certain settings, the AstraZeneca vaccine may be the only vaccine that is practical to offer. And in those circumstances, the AstraZeneca vaccine should indeed be the preferred vaccine. The Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation, or JCVI, is also an independent body, and we conduct regular reviews of our advice on COVID-19 vaccines, particularly to take into account new or changing circumstances. In the last few weeks, uh, we have reviewed uh, new data, uh, which I want to share with you. If I could the first slide, please. We've tried our best to understand the latest evidence from MHRA regarding the risk arising from extremely rare adverse events following the first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We've also uh, looked at data related to the control of COVID-19 infections in the UK and mathematical models of any further wave of infection that might occur later on this year. We've assessed vaccine supply forecasts and the level of vaccine uptake in the vaccine program at the moment. We've also looked at the speed of vaccine deployment. We note particularly the following things. We note that uh, there is new evidence regarding the efficacy or effectiveness of vaccines, particularly in protecting people from severe disease. There is also very recently uh, new published evidence to show that vaccines also offer some protection against transmission of infection. We note the very high levels of vaccine uptake and the high speed of the vaccine deployment program. It's the strength of the vaccine program over the last few weeks and hopefully continuing into the next few weeks uh, that will protect us in the longer term. If the vaccine program continues from strength to strength, then a future wave of infection is likely to be smaller than previously anticipated, given all that we now know about the vaccines. And this is good news for all of us. To reflect these uh, changing situations, JCVI agreed to update its advice. The next slide, please.